Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Now you've got the Three of Swords over here at the bottom of the deck. Let's deck. Three of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles and um, you've got the Judgment card as well. And it starts with the Six of Wands. So, you know, you have been overcoming a lot of problems, a lot of obstacles, and things are starting to move forward. Uh, you know, you're at the forefront of that wave over there. So, you know, you are making a lot of big changes in your life, you're making a lot of inroads. And this is after going through a lot of problems and a lot of obstacles, and you have overcome them. So you have a new perspective of things at the moment. You have decided to take a different pathway. So there's a decision point over there. You can see these two mountains in the background. The road is clear. You can see through this glass to the other end. Um, but, you know, there are certain things that you have to overcome. You've got to get rid of all these blockages um, in order for you to move forward. So, uh, you know, these are blockages of the mind. You've got to open your mind. Think, um, you know, differently about situ the situation. See things from a different perspective to open this road and clear out your path. So it might just be your, your own fears that are blocking progress over here. Uh, but you are being called upon to make a change in your life right now. And you have all the information at hand as well. So there's a new beginning coming. There's the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be a new job coming in for you or something brand new being offered to you on the financial front. There's more security coming in for you financially. And this could even be a new home that comes in uh, with that Ace of Pentacles. You are still pretty heartbroken. There might be people around you that caused a lot of problems, a lot of conflict, and you have ended up or you need to end, you know, cut off ties with them, break off communication with them. There might have even been some legal issues that you had to deal with that was not quite going quite your way over there. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of confusion with that Three of Swords uh, in communication. Uh, there might be even mislaid information as well with that Three of Swords. So if you're dealing with legal issues, there's a need for you to get some perspective, um, you know, clear it out, sort it out, because there's a bit of confusion going on over there. And if you are dealing with people, you are getting over some kind of situation Situation that was really hard hitting. Uh, there might have been breakdowns of communication over there and a lot of upset that went through it. So you're dealing with a lot of conflict, but you're coming out of it because you're getting to that Ace of Pentacles, just making brand new starts somewhere else. So let's see what's going on with you. You've got um, the moon cards so there again, feeling very alone, very, very isolated. You can see she's sitting on this ice block. And there are these two pyramids over there. So there's some kind of big decision that you have to make and you're not quite sure about it. It's an ending off a cycle. You've got the last phase of the moon over there. So something is coming to an end, coming to a close, and you're having to make a decision on moving forward. And hence the, um, the judgment card. This is about, you can see there's pyramids also there in the background. So there's some big decision that you're facing right now. And, you know... Uh, it doesn't seem like you can really see clearly as to how to sort through this because you can see, um, you know, in both these cases, she's alone. Here you've got the glass blocking the path there. And here she's on this island, uh, you know, with the moon. And the moon card is always about confusion. It's about not seeing the truth clearly, about being too invested in your emotions to actually see things from a logical standpoint. So you do need to, to get, uh, you know, a more um, objective way of looking at whatever is being going on in order for you to make that decision. You've got the Ten of Swords, so you have come to an end, and you know you can see this person's lying completely down, face down there. So whatever the situation is, you feel very, very defeated by it, you know, and you felt like uh, you've been let down. Wherever these three people are in this Three of Swords, usually it's a three-party situation. Um, they seem to have stabbed you in the back. They were not. Um, they were not kind. They had no regards for you, and you know whatever this conflict was, it's left you feeling quite uh, disempowered, very defeated in the situation. And maybe this is why this decision of what to do next is so difficult for you. Now, in the past, you've got that Princess of Swords, so you were dealing with somebody that was bending the truth. You can see this uh, sword is being bent. So they've been, uh, you know, changing the truth to suit themselves, really. So, And this person may have been quite a, a nasty little piece of work because they could have, you know, used a lot of lies and deceit and deception to manipulate that situation. And again, this is a third-party situation. So whoever this person was or whoever these people were, um, because you've got these two cards next to each other, they've been putting out a lot of lies and deceit about you, bending the truth, as you can see. So you have been dealing with a lot of 
um, you know, difficult energies. And it seems to be a third party situation or three people at least involved in it. You're pretty worried about money. You've been juggling your finances. You've been trying to just keep things afloat, really. You can see she's juggling these balls. So just trying to keep things up in the air, just trying to keep things going. Uh, and you are pretty worried about money. And you are pop there's a possibility that you're waiting for some kind of payout, uh, you know, some kind of um, financial assistance. Seems like that that's what you might be waiting for. So going to the future, you've got the Princess of Wands. So news and uh, messages coming in about maybe a new job, uh, a need uh, power coming back into your hands again, but even a message about travel, maybe relocating, maybe getting a job somewhere else, or even starting a new project somewhere else. But there's definitely some positive messages coming in. It seems like you're waiting for it, you know. It, it, everything is in the balance here based on this particular message that comes in. And it will come in and it looks like it's going to be something positive because you've got the death card over here. So this is the end of a difficult situation and moving on to something new, um, you know, changing uh, the past. And these are sudden changes with the death card. So sudden uh, release of that old energy, ending it and actually just severing ties with it and moving on. So that's where you are at the moment. And you've got that Ten of Swords together with the death card means that you are definitely at a close of that cycle and you are definitely moving on to something better. You've got the Seven of Wands over here. So whatever has been going on, you know, you need to defend yourselves. There's still some problems that you will have to sort out. Take things one at a time. Don't let it overwhelm you. Um, you know, you've got the higher ground over here, so you are going to be successful at it. But you need to be very proactive in what you do. Don't sit back and wait for things and sort things out from a very, very logical point of view. So you might have some difficult people that you're dealing with, but there might be some unexpected things that arise that you need to sort it sort out out or work through really you've got the magician card over here so your plan is just to try and manifest as much as you can so you are working pretty hard at it uh, you know you're trying to multitask you're trying to communicate you're trying to put your message out there into the world with the magician and you're using all your skills and talents to try and get this uh, problem sorted out now going into the future you've got the strength card the three of pentacles and the six of cups so the strength card make bold moves do things that people don't expect and act with confidence, uh, you know, and um, look at all your legal issues as well. This tiger is walking there in black and white. So there might be some legal issues that you need to sort out as well. And make sure you're re reading all the fine print with that strength card. you got the three of pentacles. So this could be even signing new contracts as far as a new job goes. You'll be pretty busy soon with this three of pentacles, networking, communicating as well, and maybe even taking a leadership uh, kind of role as well. So maybe this three of pentacles, the decision that you have to make, because you've got these pyramid triangles in the background of there, is a decision about a job. So there might be two jobs on offer that come in for you over there, and you have to make a decision about which one you're going to choose. But you're certainly going to be pretty busy soon. You've got the six of cups. So this is another card of an offer coming in, and a pretty good one at that. And it's going to be something that progresses and you know brings in a lot of abundance as well. It'll grow from stage to stage, but it's a really good offer that comes in for you. And it might have been somebody that you worked with in the past, or somebody introduces you uh, to this job, somebody that you've known in the past offers you this new job or this new opportunity. But that is a really good opportunity that comes in. And you'll make a lot of friends in this uh, opportunity that comes in for you with the Six of Cups. Uh, you meet a lot of people and these will be good friendships as well. So this new job that comes in or this job that you're going to be working in soon, uh, you know, you'll be busy, but you'll be ma making a lot of really good friendships. And, you know, like I said, make sure that you're making bold moves. You take... Uh, charge of that situation as well. Now I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Wolf Pack for the um, Oracle Read. So the first card you've got over here is Outcome. Even though you are experiencing many obstacles, you will survive any and all conditions. Many lessons learned and the results of your experiences are presenting their rewards. So you can see this wolf is jumping over the stream, so you are getting through a lot of problems, a lot of obstacles, and you'll be able to overcome these. And the second card is risks. So you must not take any risks as far as love, money, or career. You might find yourself being manipulated by someone you love and trust. Be alert. So just be careful of people around you. Watch your back, really, is what this card is saying. Um, you know, And don't... Um, 
don't do something unexpected in sense don't take risks as far as your finances go make sure that you know everything you know exactly what you're doing if you're going to be taking risks they must be calculated so know everything about something before you risk it make sure you do your research and the last one is guilt you seem to be harboring guilt about the past such as a divorce children or actions seek solutions and move on learn how to overcome guilt and forgive yourself prayer heals so don't feel uh, upset about leaving people behind and moving on with your life um, and you know make a connection with the divine that's very very important you need to ask for divine guidance in the situation so whatever is coming your way you will be able to get through it you will be able to sort through it and don't um you know don't trust anybody um unless they give you cause to trust them so make sure you watch your back so this is the angel tarot for the main uh, oracle read and you've got the four of air so time to rest or take a vacation Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation can provide answers. So there is that need for you to take a little step back and ask the divine for help over here. You've gone through the three of swords. The four of air is uh, the four of swords. So you need to come up with a new plan, a new strategy. And you need to ask for divine guidance to find out. So meditate. Go within yourself. Find the answers there. Um, and come up with a new plan. And then you've got the unity card over here. So traditional viewpoints and methods, spiritual recognition, and seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Now, in order for you to make a decision here or come up with a new plan, you might need to go and get some advice from somebody around you. And it might be something professional or somebody who knows some a thing or two about what has happened. So you do need to actually ask for some some kind of advice, some kind of input. Um, you know, somebody who is a bit who's not involved in the situation, somebody who is um you know, um, a bit removed from the situation in order for you to get an objective uh, viewpoint as to what to do. And you got the page of fire, so news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. And you've got them twice here. So with the princess of wands and this page of fire, which is the same card, you've got news coming in over here. So some really good news. And this might be about travel. Again, there's a decision over here. You've got these two mountains in the background over here. So maybe this new job, uh, you know, one of them at least takes you out traveling. And uh, the news is coming in. You might be accepted for this particular role. So some really good news coming in. It's a really positive card, the page of fire. And it shows, you know, a lot of power coming back into your hands, but also a lot more freedom coming in over there, um, you know, and uh, you're not stuck anymore. So things are starting to move. You've got still a few problems to sort through with that seven of wands, but you'll be able to overcome it. Uh, but you need to stand up for yourself and you're making a brand new start, a brand new beginning there. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.